Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about tab gestures. It's one of the easiest ways to add functionality to your app, and as we'll see, it's very easy to implement. So as a quick example, this is what the final result looks like. If you click on the words, they just move up, which means that they're changing their position on the screen. This is all the code we want, but let's start over from the beginning. So we're going to just create our uh, variable body, which is a sum view. And this is the default template that every Xcode project starts with. We'll create a text view, which will just say hello. And we're going to run this to see, um, just to make sure that it looks exactly the same as any other project. Cool. So now what we want to do is create a offset um, because this is just going to be a variable. You can use other things like position or anything else really that you want to change with a tab. We're going to use offset because it's an easy way to demonstrate that the label can move. And what we've done here is we said move this um, 100 pixels to the right and 300 pixels down from the center of the screen, which is where it, it um, shows by default. So now that we've hard coded these numbers, what would be great is if we could tie them to a variable. And so we'll create a private variable, which we'll call position. And that's going to be a CG point. So a CG point requires an X and a Y. And so we'll say, uh, you know, let's say zero for both. Uh, and that way, when we plug in the variable into our text view, it should appear back into the center of the screen. And the way we do it is that we say self.position.x for the x coordinate of the CG point and self.position.y for the y coordinate of that CG point. And there we go. We're back in the middle of the screen because our offset is 0, 0. We're not being offset to anywhere. So now we'll create our gesture, which is going to be a tab gesture. And just for your um, kind of information, uh, a tab gesture just means that it, it only counts when you lift your screen, uh, your finger off the screen, not when you touch the screen. So that's why we have an on, dot unended. Uh, it means that when your finger is lifted, then we'll run this code right here. And the code is going to be changing the position y coordinate by minus 20. And the issue here is that we need to add state to, to our private variable because we'll be changing it and now it should be fine. So if every time we click and we run that code, we change the y coordinate by negative 20 pixels and the text moves up. And so that's it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. That was a very um, simple implementation of the tap gesture. And you can make this as complicated as you want, obviously, just by adding more and more code within that uh, unended field. So hopefully that was helpful. Please comment and like and come back for more videos.